Hi Stampers, this is Karen Phillip. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm pleased to show you how to make this card. And I'm calling this technique a Smoosh and Guild. So I'm not sure if you will tell, but there is some gold, gold leafing on the leaves. And, and then on the inside, there's a little, I don't know if you can see it or not. There we go, a little bit, but that's a result of this. So let's get started. I'm using the Tropical Leaf Punch. This is on the online exclusives. Uh, I'm not sure how long it will be available, but it's a nice punch, so get it while you can. You just do a search for online exclusives on stampinup.com. I'm using, I always put my, well you can get these also on Stampin' Up! But this is uh, the clear envelopes, and that's what I'm using to, you could do any kind of acetone or acetone um, piece, but this works well because this is how my kits come. Okay, so I have a paper towel underneath it, and here's my, my piece. I'm using the watercolor paper, and this watercolor paper is a half of a sheet. They are... Uh, five by seven so this is actually two and a half I mean, yeah two and a half yeah it's two and a half by the seven and you do need this entire piece so to do this technique I'm going to take three colors granny apple green coastal cabana and shaded spruce you always start with the lighter color first so you don't contaminate your light inks because we will be stamping over so I'm using the granny apple and I'm simply putting the ink right on the bag. So that's all I do. And then I will take, and you don't have to be real heavy on it, real heavy handed. Now I'm using the Costa Cabana. Same thing, just putting a couple uh, blotches of smooshes on it. <laughs> And now the shaded spruce, You, if you want a darker leaf, you use more shaded spruce. If you want it a little lighter with the more of the lighter greens. And you just kind of use more of an edge of it. So you can see it's not as much as the others. Now we're going to spritz it with water. And we'll spritz it. You want it kind of wet. The drier it is, the... Um, the less it'll smush. Now I'm taking my piece of paper or my my watercolor paper and smushing it on there and you can see how that looks and I'm going to smush it on all of it because I do need the whole thing and that's pretty good actually. That's all I need. Now this part would show up kinda cool because it's not quite solid there and then we're going to save this piece because we need that in a minute but I'm going to dry this a little bit with my heat tool I'm just going to go on low and I just want to dry it um, and, I'm going on high. and you'll know it's dry you can see it's curved it, when it's dry it's flat It just works better that way, just a little bit. Okay, the next thing, I'm going to take my spritzer again and just lightly spritz, and let's do it on the paper. <laughs> paper towel. All right, so we're gonna lightly spritz. And what that does, it leaves water spots on, I don't know if we're, we're even gonna be able to see them, but it leaves water spots on the stuff that we just did. So now we're gonna, dry that off and that just gives it more texture and now the really messy part is taking we need our piece of um, a bag again and we're going to take some Tombow glue put it anywhere on your on your plastic don't need a lot and we are going to spritz that with water. And 
and we'll take our paintbrush. You can use an old paintbrush. This thing is really sticky from everybody's sticky fingers. Um, and just smear it around. Doesn't have to be any colored spot. That that doesn't matter. It's we're just getting glue on there, and we want it real soupy. And this uh, will splatter, and you want that to splatter, but not necessarily all over your table. So I'm using my finger, and I'm just tapping it. And let's see where we get. If it's gonna work. I mean, it'll work but I end up with glue all over everything. <laughs> my table, I have a good rag that worked to get it off my dining room table. Okay, so I'm not sure. And then this bag you'll just throw away and then you have to wash this out really well, the brush with water. I'm just gonna set it aside for now. Okay, I'm gonna close this up so that I don't get everything green. All right, now I need to, I don't know if you'll be able to see the, you can kind of see the little spots. Those are the glue, and I'm going to dry that now. To Not real much, you want it a little tacky. You don't want it real wet, because if it's wet, the gilding won't, it'll be a mess. Let's just leave it at that. So I'm just going to make these so they're tacky. You could use heat and stick powder as well. I don't have any, so I'm using this. Now we'll take our gilded leaf, gilding leaf gild, what is it called? I think it's just gild, gilded leafing. It's very, very fine, and it like is fly away, and you just grab some, kind of put it on your piece. You can use a brush or your finger, I'm going to use my finger, and swirl it around. And it sticks to those glue dots. They're the dots of glue. I don't want to say glue dots because that'll mess you up on what you should use. So any place it's tacky, it will stick to your whoops too much. It'll stick to your uh, card. And this stuff is really cool, but it gets all over everything if you let it get away from you. There. And I've had several classes, and you can see how much. I have left. I've had like 10 classes, not just this technique, and so it goes a long way. It's also in the catalog, of course. Okay, and it will stick to your finger, and you just need to wipe it off with a, just run it under the faucet. So now we have this. Let's get rid of the mess. Like I said, it gets all over everything. Okay. Now I'm going to punch out this paper, and I don't know, can you see how shiny it is now? See I have big blobs over here, and little dots over here, but it just all looks so cool. Now I'm going to punch out three of them, three leaves, and I'm going kind of toward the bottom of it because we're using this side piece. There's about three-eighths of an inch along the side, along the side here, and we're going to tr trim that. I'm just going to use my little trimmer right now. I'm going to trim that for the inside of the card. And you'll get a big piece. Pick, pick which part you like the best and make that three and three-quarters. And then that's the inside strip for your card. So that's how these leaves turn out. They're, they're, and they'll all be different. So to assemble the card, I have some colors. This one, I think this is this is the Parakeet Party, and I have a white layer. And this is done with the. I have it embossed. I have it embossed with one of the, uh, let's see if you can see it, you eh, can't see it. Maybe when you when I post the pictures you'll be able to see it better. But it's embossed with, it's like a crosshatch kind of thing, again it's an online exclusive, you get three embossing folders, and this is one of the, um, 
designs of it. Now I'm taking another piece of the parakeet, just gluing that on, and then another piece of the white with the cross hatches on it. And you can do the bumps up or down, doesn't matter. And now we will take our leaves, and you only need a couple dimensionals on these. Like two dimensionals are fine for each one, and it's nice and thick, so they won't like sink down. There, one there. Okay, and then we will take off the things, and I start from the top, and they layer down very nicely. Again, I will put dimensions on my website. So, and I use the designer, what are these called, the stylus shapes dies, and there are two, I have two circles out of there, and then I will stamp a sentiment on here, and add some of these jewels, I, they are called the, what are they called, base, no, what are they called? I'll put it on the I'll put it on the site. But these gold jewels, jewels just add just a little bit to it. Otherwise, it looks kind of plain. And the stamp set that I did use is something fancy, and I did the thank you on this one. And it just fits nicely in the circle. And the inside again has our piece that we cut off the side. And it's just a a nice fresh looking card. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.